matter yes. where you are, God is omnipresent. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, he'll he come is. right Hallelujah. where you are and he'll meet you right where you are. Yes, Amen. Lord. We give God the glory. Yes. Come on, let's just begin to give him Hallelujah. some praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, let's Hallelujah. thank him for his goodness. Hallelujah. Let's thank him for his mercy. Hallelujah. Let's thank him for his loving kindness towards us. He's a good and a great and a mighty, mighty, mighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. And we give you praise. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty. Is our Savior great and mighty? Is our God great and mighty? Is our Savior great and mighty? Is our God great and mighty? Is our Savior great and mighty? Is our God great and mighty? Great and mighty is our God. He's so great. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Oh, great and mighty is our Savior. God. Come on, declare great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Great and greatly to be praised. God is 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 great and gre
and greatly to be praised. God is great and greatly to be praised. God is greatly to be praised. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, clap those hands now. God's got all power in his hand. God's got all power in his hand. God's got all power in his hand. Power in his hand. God's got all power in his hand. God's got all power in his hand. God's got all power. All power in his you need in his hand. God's got it in hey. his hand. What you need in his hand. God's got it in his hand. He's got that power in his hand. He's got that power in his hand. He's got power in his hand. In his hand. In his hand. Healing power in his hand. Healing power in his hand. Saving power in his hand. Saving power in his hand. Keeping power in his hand. Keeping power. What you're seeking in his hand. It's in God's hand. In his hand. He's got what you need. In his hand. It's in God's hand. In his hand. Reach out and touch in his hand. the hand of God. In his hand. Your power. In his hand. Your healing. In his hand. Your joy. In his hand. Your peace. In his hand. Your strength. In his hand. 
his hand. It's in God's hand. Hey. In his hand. Your peace. In his hand. It's in God's hand. In his hand. Your healing. In his hand. It's in God's hand. In his hand. Your joy. In his hand. It's in God's hand. In his hand. What you need. In his hand. What you need. In his hand. God's got it. 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 In his hand. God's got all. Do you believe it? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell somebody, don't worry, God's got the power in his hand. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, bless God, bless God, bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we got to trust him. We got to believe that what we need, God is able to do it. Hallelujah. Just encourage somebody in your house. Hallelujah. We're going to put our confidence in him. Hallelujah. Because all the power belongs to God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just say Hallelujah. it till you feel it. Hallelujah. All the power, no matter what we see, no matter how it appears, all the power belongs to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, just begin to glorify him. Just begin to give him honor. Just begin to give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, we bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty is our Savior. Great and mighty is our God. Hallelujah. Come on, if you can, just begin to thank him for his goodness and thank him for his mercy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We honor you, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Mountains are still being moved. Strongholds are still being loose. God, we believe. Yes, we receive it. Wonders are still what you do. Bodies are still being raised. Giants are still being God, we believe. Yes, we receive it. Wonders are still what you do. Mountains. Mountains are still being moved. And strongholds are still being loose. God, we believe, and yes, we receive it. Wonders are still what you do. And bodies are still being raised. And giants are still being slain. God, we believe. Yes, we receive it. Wonders are still what you do. Let's say that. Mountains. Mountains are still being moved. Strongholds. Strongholds are still being loose. God. God, we believe it. And yes, we receive it. Wonders. Wonders are still what you do. Bodies are being raised. Bodies are still being raised. And giants. And giants are still being slain. God, we believe. And yes, we receive it. 
Wonders are still what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. Why? Because we need a move. We need, we need a move. We are here. We are here. Miracles happen when you 
Let's ask him to come. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come, Holy Spirit, Oh. 
Lord, you're welcome in this place. Yes, Lord God, yes, Jesus. You are welcome. Lord, you're welcome. Yes, Lord. Yes, you're welcome in this place. Move by your power yes, and by your spirit. Put a smile upon each face. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome. Yes, you're welcome in this place. Just tell him. You, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. Move by your power. Move by, by your power. Spirit, by your spirit, and put a smile upon each face. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. right now. Holy Spirit, tell them you're welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. Move by your power. Move by your spirit. And put a smile upon each face. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. One more time. You are. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in Just begin to Hallelujah. worship him as the Holy Spirit makes his arrival wherever you are. Hallelujah. That he may touch your heart, that we can receive the word of God, and that that word would fall on good ground. Hallelujah. Come on, make him welcome in your atmosphere. In Jesus' name is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Continue to worship him and give God praise that he woke you up this morning and gave you strength in your body. Amen. Gave you a right mind. Amen. You give God the praise and the glory. Worship is to break up the follow ground. Amen. That when the follow ground is broken up, the word of God can bring forth a harvest in your spirit. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we rejoice and we will be glad within it. We magnify the Lord together. As the psalmist says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us rejoice and be glad. Amen. So we rejoice this morning for it is a beautiful day to be saved. Praise the Lord. The weather is beautiful. God is good. Amen. And no matter what situation you are in, I need you to look beyond your circumstance and look to your King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Because he's able to make a way out of no way. Hallelujah. He is your strength in the time of trouble. Amen. He is perfect in your weakness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He is a healer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is still a savior, O oh God. We give him praise for who he is. For our God is servant, sovereign, and our God is mighty. Amen. This, just bear with me. Let's go in prayer. Let's go to the throne of grace and ask God to minister to us. But many of you have different needs and petitions that you have put before God. 
But this is the Lord's day, amen. It's marvelous in our eyes, and we need God to have his way, amen. And I know that God answers prayer, for the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much, amen. I want you to join with prayer. We go, amen, boldly into the presence of God, that we can find grace to help this morning in the time of need. Oh, hallelujah. If you need healing today, God's got it. There's still healing in his hand. If you need to be saved, hallelujah, his blood still cleanses from sin. Praise the Lord. I want you to know that God is able to meet all your needs according to his riches and glory. Father God, we praise and we glorify you this day, Lord. Oh God, we come together, oh God, making our requests known unto you. Oh God, as we look to the hill from which cometh our help, God. Oh God, we intercede, oh God, as oh, we use our priestly, amen, anointing, God, to intercede for those, oh God, that are in need today, God. Oh Father God, you know those, God, that are sick and afflicted, oh God. We pray, oh God, that the hand of your holy hand, God, oh God, that you would stretch out your hand and touch that body, oh God. God. Oh God, that head that is hurting, oh God, but yet they want to listen to the word of God. Oh God, we pray, oh Lord, as they sit in our presence, oh God, that you release that praying and that pressure, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would deliver, oh God, deliver, oh God, the afflictions of the body, oh God. We rebuke the enemy, oh God, as he trespasses, uh, oh God, your, your property, the temple, oh God, the temple, oh God, that was created in your image and likeness, Lord. Uh, oh God, that person, oh God, that mind is being perplexed, God, uh, because all the turmoil and all the, amen, dysfunction and all the drama that's going on in the world, God, uh, that soul that sits there depressed, God, uh, we come against the spirit of depression, uh, we come against the spirit of suicide this morning, uh, we come against the spirit of heaviness God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we command Satan to take his hand to offer God's property uh, oh bless the name of God uh, oh God give them oh God uh, oh God give them joy in the midst of this trouble Lord uh, in the name of Jesus uh, oh God that person oh God that's afraid uh, there's a spirit of fear on this pandemic God uh, oh God we rebuke the spirit of fear this morning God uh, that individual that wants to go forward God uh, but the enemy got them going backwards, oh God. We pray, oh Father God, that you would touch their mind, God. Oh God, that you let them know they have the mind of Christ. Let them know they don't have to fear what man can do unto them. Let them know because you are on their side. In the name of Jesus, we, oh God, we claim the captive to be let free today. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of fear, God. Not by our, oh God, carnal talent. Not by our way God uh, but oh God we know it's not by your spirit uh, amen but by your spirit say of the Lord uh, it's not by our flesh and blood uh, but oh God we know you are able uh, to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think uh, and oh God that saint that is in the house today uh, they're listening to a broadcast uh, they're listening to the word in worship uh, oh God we pray that that word be released in the home God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we pray that the word and the praises be released in the home, God. Uh, that those that are not saved, oh God, uh, that you bring them into the kingdom, God. Uh, that those that don't know you, God, uh, oh God, that you will save everyone, God. Uh, that is near as hell, Lord. Uh, we bring deliverance in the house today. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we decree the, amen, peace in the house today. Uh, whoever you are, uh, oh God, say peace in the house today. Uh, you ought to give them praise. Uh, for peace in the house today. Uh, you are the magnifier's name uh, for peace in your spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we glorify him today. Uh, that souls to be saved, God. Uh, give him desire to cry out, God. Uh, and say, what must I do to be saved? Uh, in Jesus' name, we give you praise. Uh, we magnify your name. Uh, come on and give God some praise. Uh, oh, God, the Bible said, if you ask, believe it. If you ask, believe it, it shall be done. Huh? He said, if you ask, believe it, it shall be done. Huh? So right where you are, you need to say, it is so. Huh? It is so. Huh? My loved ones will be saved. My body is healed. Huh? I am free in Christ Jesus. Huh? And give God the glory. Huh? Oh, hallelujah. His oneness to perform and his word will not return to him void. Oh, bless the name of God. Amen. 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 The greatest thing you can try trust is trusting in Jesus. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Amen. We're going to go into the word of God. 
Amen. And we're going to go to two portions of scripture. Amen. If you don't have anything to follow me with, you can follow me in the word of God. We're going to go to the book of St. John chapter 9. And then we're going to go to the book of Matthew chapter 16. Amen. As a foundation text. And St. John chapter 9 starting at the first verse. It reads as thus. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And the disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did this, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, Neither has this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Verse 5, and as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. We go back a few Gospels into the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 16. Amen. Chapter 16 and verse 13. And when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, some say that are of John the Baptist, Elias, and others, Jeremiah, and or one of the prophets. And he said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Which is making it personal. And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, blessed thou art Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the, kings, the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou loose on earth thou shalt loose in heaven." And for a thought today, amen, I pray that the Lord will use me today to give you something to hold on to is that we need to work while we're waiting. Well, what I mean by that is that while we're waiting for uh, God to bring forth another shift or while we're waiting for, amen, God to answer prayer, while we're waiting for another move, amen, that we should uh, work while we're doing it. Amen. As we look in chapter 16, a very familiar passage of scripture, you would discover that the Pharisees, amen, was decried, required a sign from Jesus. They was challenging his anointing and challenging his, his purpose. Amen. They did not come to him and ask for a sign that, it can, that he can validate what they believed in him. Amen. They didn't want to learn anything from him displaying his power. Amen. But they were doing it to tempt him, to ensnare him. They were doing it, amen, because uh, they was trying to expose his anointing. They were trying to expose who he is to get people to turn away from him. So they was asking for a sign. Now, when you look deep within to the historical account, you would discover that the Jews uh, was not looking for just an eye to be opened because that had happened. They were not looking for someone to be raised from the dead because that had happened, amen, in the past or with the prophets. But what they were looking for were the signs concerning their idea of the coming Messiah. And the signs of the idea of the coming Messiah would be like what occurred in the life of Joshua, where the sun and the moon stood still that he can have a warfare. Amen. They were looking for a sign that occurred like with the, uh, the patriarch Moses. And when Moses, amen, in his reign and bringing Israel into Canaan, that God, amen, poured out manna from heaven. And so they were looking at some tremendous, miraculous signs in order for him to validate who he is. But if I know anybody here that know anything about Jesus, he ain't got to prove who he is. He's already done it when he rose from the dead. Do I have a witness? Amen. But in the conversation, you will discover that Peter, amen, Jesus made it personal and asked his disciples, whom do you say that I am? In other words, we're not looking at popular opinion, but we want to, amen, let know how you feel within your heart personally. I walk with God is not off of popular opinion, but I walk with God has to be personal. Amen. A lot of folks are saved or a lot of folks, you know, practice religion. Amen. Because of 
through popular opinion or mindsight. But you've got to know God for yourself. Uh, Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. And so Jesus goes to the disciples, amen, and begin to further, praise God, uh, go into dialogue. And he says, listen, whom do you say that I am? But Peter had a revelation by our Lord. And the Bible declares that Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. We discover, amen, that Jesus, uh, amen, was, uh, he, he, he saw uh, Peter got a revelation from God. He said, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father, which is in heaven. And so because of that revelation, he began to minister to Peter with a fuller revelation. Saints of God, we're in this situation here in this pandemic, and God is trying to, in my belief, that he wants to minister to the church. And we're getting a revelation, yes, there is a pandemic. We're hearing people saying, don't fear. We're hearing people say, get a closer walk with God. But within this revelation, God wants to bring us to a deeper or a fuller revelation and so what the Lord said to Peter he said Peter listen here I'm going to build my church and upon this church would have this authority the gates of hell would not prevail against it and I'm going to give you keys I want to talk to you about keys uh, amen that the keys will uh, have the ability to bind and loose now I don't want to go into the discourse of uh, that concept which is very deep and we can spend all day talking about it but I want to just give briefly give you, amen, a comprehension of the power of keys. Uh, in the New Testament, we discover that keys uh, uh, is usually a type of a sense uh, of entering into a spiritual realm. Uh, that a key uh, is, amen, given the individual an access, uh, amen, into a spiritual destiny. Uh, in other words, when Jesus told him uh, that upon this rock I build my church, uh, he was giving Peter a key uh, to a fuller spiritual revelation. Saints of the living God, the enemy would want us to get caught up as the church has been during this pandemic uh, to stay in the mode as we have been uh, and it has been stifling the power of the church uh, as I be in prayer and seek God for answers and seek God for direction. Uh, I feel the Holy Spirit is telling me, praise the living God, uh, that we need to see the keys in what's going on uh, during this time like this. Amen. A key means authority. We need to know what authority we have uh, in the word of God for this situation. Uh, the first thing that has started in my life, what the Lord talked about, uh, amen, the sons of Issachar. We should have the uh, Issachar anointing to understand the times uh, so we need to know what to do. Uh, amen. We don't need to know what to do just for the church, uh, but you need to know what to do for your life. Uh, you need to have a discernment of the times uh, so we are know what to do. Uh, amen. With these keys, they give us access. The keys uh, gives us authority. The keys uh, of the kingdom uh, is really a Christian concept uh, of Christian authority. Uh, now let's look at the church during this time. Uh, we have been distracted by the racist uh, marches. We've been distracted by the political upheaval that's going on, uh, amen, in the White House. Uh, and so our attention has been, uh, because we're so geared to uh, the media, we are basically being programmed and manipulated uh, by the information that we download uh, off of our phones and iPads and televisions uh, and what we're seeing constantly, uh, even through the notices uh, of what the world is doing. Uh, I'm praying God in the next 15 minutes uh, that I give you, a, help you get your attention to what God is doing in this last hour or what God wants to do. Uh, number one, he wants us to use our keys. Uh, in the book of Luke chapter 11 verse 52, uh, amen, we find a very familiar passage of script, not a familiar passage of scripture, but it tells us about one of the keys that's important uh, and that's the key of knowledge. Uh, the religious leaders within that text uh, amen is talking about uh, amen Luke is talking about the religious leaders in that text uh, that they had distorted amen uh, the people's minds by giving them or imparting to them uh, false interpretations uh, of uh, the holy writ. 
gift. Uh, now, you have to understand that leadership is very important in God's uh, construct. Uh, God, amen, is a God of order, and leadership is a part of God's construct. Uh, in other words, that leaders uh, have an influence on those who are under them. Uh, now, in the biblical times, describes the Pharisees, the Sadducees, uh, the historians, uh, amen, those who knew the word of God, uh, instead of following the word of God in spirit and truth, uh, they misinterpreted the word of God, uh, amen, and the scripture declares that that, amen, they took away the key of knowledge uh, so they could not understand what God wanted to do. Uh, it's very essential who I put my ear to. Uh, it's very essential, amen, to who I open my spirit to, uh, especially in a time uh, of the highway of knowledge. Help me today, God. Uh, and so we see, praise the Lord, uh, that the Bible is true. The Bible says uh, that my people error because of lack of knowledge. Uh, amen. Amen. So if people, uh, amen, pervert or distort uh, or misdirect information, uh, amen, they're going to follow that course. Uh, that's why it's important. Uh, the Bible declares when you see the light, walk in it. Uh, the Bible says that we ought to walk in the truth of the gospel. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to give you a, give a, a little lesson here. Uh, when we look at revelation, uh, amen, we have special revelation in theology and we also have have general revelation uh, or different constructs uh, that gives us comprehension uh, to understand the movings and the workings of God. Uh, amen. The, what I've learned from studying uh, those types of uh, topics, I've learned uh, that that which is in the natural, uh, amen, is really a, revel a revelation uh, of what is occurring in the spirit. Uh, and so we understand that the things which are seen uh, were not created by that, uh, amen, which is made, uh, uh, which is not seen. Praise the Lord. Help me, God. Mm. We understand, amen, that the natural occurrences uh, provide spiritual revelation. So where am I going? Uh, uh, let's back up a little bit in time. Uh, uh, we understand that the beginning of the pandemic, uh, amen, we've seen uh, something very interesting. Uh, I, I mentioned it before a couple of weeks ago, how the government uh, had decided that the church uh, was a non-essential entity. Uh, now, that's a spiritual revelation behind that. Uh, and in other words, what the government was saying here in America, uh, that the church uh, was not extremely important to the success uh, of the country, uh, that the church, the true of living God, uh, amen, the, the pillar of our faith was not essential, uh, amen, in the dynamics, uh, amen, for society, uh, and therefore there will be no provisions uh, for that, amen, that, that, that entity, uh, amen, to be used. Oh, look at that now. First natural, then spiritual. I believe that that worldview has occurred because the church before this pandemic did not impact the earth in the spirit realm as we were assigned to. The Bible declares in the gospel that the church should be the salt and the light. The church, praise God, was supposed to permeate its environment. Uh, uh, come on now. Uh, Jesus taught. Amen. Uh, uh, Matthew writes what Jesus said. Uh, in Matthew 5, 13, he says, uh, you are the salt of the earth. But watch this. Uh, but if the salt lost its savior, uh, in other words, if it lost its potency, uh, if it lost its ability to affect, uh, he says, wherewith shall it be salted? Uh, he says, listen here, it is therefore good for nothing. Uh, Y'all know how it is when uh, you order something that don't taste right uh, and you keep on trying to work it up. Uh, you put salt on it and this on it and you keep working with it. Uh, what do you do after a while? You don't eat it. You throw it away. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, and Jesus was telling a man those were listening uh, that as a disciple of Jesus Christ uh, or let's look at it as the church of God, uh, we are supposed to permeate. We're supposed to affect the world. Uh, come on now. Uh, amen to have such an influence uh, praise the Lord uh, that it will affect uh, his people but 
fact, uh, if it lost its power, uh, it would be trodden on the foot of men. Uh, and so because I believe uh, that we have kept on propagating uh, that consequence of Constantinople, uh, who weakened the church by, amen, religious tradition, uh, that we find out, amen, that the church at large, uh, amen, especially prior to the pandemic, uh, in the beginning of the 20th century, in the 20th century, uh, we kept going down in our authority, kept going down in our power uh, here in America, uh, and therefore we lost our Savior, uh, and now the world is seeing uh, that the church is trodden underfoot, uh, and that's the same thing, amen, as we as individuals, uh, that praise God that we are not uh, impacting the environment uh, because we want to fit in and be accepted, uh, but this pandemic uh, is definitely a spiritual revelation uh, to bring us back to our first work, uh, according to my conviction. Uh, the Bible says, amen, that judgment must begin uh, at the house of God. Uh, and in the first begin of us, uh, oh my God, I believe uh, that we are paying the price, praise the Lord, uh, for allowing the enemy to diminish who we are uh, in spirit and in power. Uh, uh, come on now, now, I'm not knocking the church because uh, technology, we have impacted the world. Uh, songs and bringing crowds, we impacted the world. Uh, oh, come on, revelations and ideas, we impacted the world. Uh, but when we look at these great things that were happening, uh, uh, how much of it was wheat and how much of it was tares? Uh, uh, come on, how we know that Satan can play tares uh, among the wheat. Uh, uh, we cannot look at numbers and look at worldly success, uh, but the success of God is to bring a soul uh, out of hell. Uh, the success of God is to change a prostitute uh, and make her a woman of God. The success of God is to take a man out of the street gang banging uh, and make him uh, a man, a product uh, of God's glory. Uh, oh, come on here. When we look at the book of John, uh, the Bible says that this affliction on this young man, uh, a man was to give God the glory. Uh, God's glory is given when souls are being saved. Uh, God's glory is given when lives are being chained, uh, being in these four walls and going on, uh, doing like we was prior to this pandemic. Uh, amen was not impacting the world to the degree uh, with the president, those in the White House and all we need the church because uh, they keep in peace in the neighborhood. Uh, we need the church because uh, they're taking drug addicts over the street. Uh, we need the church uh, because of the power that it possesses, uh, but because we allow the enemy uh, switch our worldview uh, and we became in the product of compromise. Uh, oh my God. Uh, and we find that many that believe in God uh, has fallen away. Uh, amen. The Bible says uh, that they left their first love. Uh, uh, come on, y'all. Y'all ain't saying nothing up in here. Uh, in the 19th, 18th, and 19th century, uh, we saw the love of God in the saints. Uh, amen. That called on the name of Jesus. Uh, but when we backed up, kept our mouth shut, uh, we let the enemy put us in the corner. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, and we find out we kept losing power. Uh, as it says to the church of Ephesus, uh, oh, you left your first love. Uh, I come to remind you, saints of God. Uh, let's look at was, what was, uh, so we can be what God has called us to be. Uh, I don't want you to say, oh my God, what's going on? Uh, I want you to assess your life. Uh, I want you to assess who you are uh, as your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life uh, that God has predestined you. Uh, amen. Praise the living God uh, to be in the kingdom of his Christ uh, and of his dear son. Y'all ain't saying nothing here uh, that you understand that God has an assignment for you. Uh, oh, bless the name of God. Uh, God has a charge in your life. Uh, God made you the salt. Uh, God gave us an opportunity now uh, that while we in obscurity, uh, amen, we are not to run scurrying around uh, trying to conform to this world. Uh, we are in the world but not of the world. Uh, I wonder if I'm preaching to anybody uh, that is proud uh, that they are called the saint. Uh, I wish I'm preaching to somebody uh, that says, yes, I saw where we were, uh, but I am now I'm in this gray area uh, and I want to know where God is going. Uh, oh, bless the name of the living God. Uh, well, how did we get there? Uh, I come to say this to you, uh, not to knock my co-labors in Christ, because uh, I don't have the ability
ability to judge another laborer. But when I look at the statistics, I would discover that many pastors have changed the image of God into the image and likeness of themselves. And they were going to get people to worship and serve the creature more than the creator which is blessed forever. I discovered as I watched YouTube, amen, and Facebook hits, amen, that many pastors have lowered God's priestly order. He has given us the Old Testament which is written for our learning to teach us the way that we ought to go. But many pastors says that's not for today. But I come to let you know that the Old and New Covenants is still valid. My God, my God. And if God had a priestly order, it's not thrown underfoot. But we under the authority and the opposites. Amen. Of the high priest, Lord Jesus Christ. And if God put in a priestly order, that's a God's establishment to teach the world that there is a difference between light and darkness. That God shows the what my people, amen, to show the difference between the clean and the unclean. I want this priestly order to show the world that there's a difference between the holy and the unholy. Do I have a witness out there? But the Bible declares in the book of Proverbs that if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I saw in the 20th century that the foundations were being tore up, tore up by the church, tore up by tricked up leaders, tore up, amen, by different concepts. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. But when I look at the typology of the tabernacle, God, amen, took that which is heavenly. He put it down on the earth as an example. And we see man trying to worship God. And God says when you go into the outer court, you got a light over your head. And that light is provided by me. It is a natural light. You have no effort in it. You can do nothing with it. But that light was to bring persons and priests into a next level to go into the inner court. The inner court, amen, didn't have natural light. Amen. Man was responsible to forgive his sins. Man was responsible to follow the writ of God. But as they lit the candlestick, man began to worship God in their own effort in the inner court. And that's what happened in the 20th century. Man began to worship God in the inner court on their own effort. My God, my God. Very little of it. Did we see people trying to bring us into the holy of holies? Into the presence of God? Yeah, we praised him. But was it in the presence of God? Are y'all listening to me? I come to tell you we got tricked by the enemy because many leaders was about building their own kingdom and not the kingdom of God. But when Jesus came, he said, first I'm going to send you John. And John has a message. And that message is the kingdom of God. And when Jesus preached his first message, it was the kingdom of God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He sat and taught the principles on the Beatitudes to change man's attitude that God is going to establish his kingdom on earth. Do I have anybody listening? If you're listening, give God a praise. I'm going to leave you with this while all this was happening. Thank you, Jesus. God was working in the background. I come to tell you, I don't care who's marching in the street. I don't care what's going on in the White House. I know they're preparing for civil war, a race war. And some of us are being scared. But I got news for you. God is still God. And God to take the wickedness of man to give him the glory. Do I have a witness? Oh, yes, I do. He told Noah, I'm going to take man's wickedness. Imagination was continually evil. And I'm going to give you a revelation to bring in a new season. My God, my God. 
and for 120 years uh, Noah had to have an ear uh, to the voice of God uh, regardless of what's going on uh, he heard God uh, with detail uh, God didn't give him a blueprint uh, God didn't give him a forum uh, God didn't give him a layout uh, but every day uh, God said go get that uh, every week uh, God said put that to this uh, y'all ain't saying nothing here uh, well in the midst of this pandemic uh, God is talking uh, God is telling somebody uh, this is the way uh, walk ye in it uh, you can be distracted if you want to uh, but if I was you uh, I would do what the Bible says uh, you let it hear that has an ear uh, what the spirit is saying to the church uh, my God my God uh, a lot of folks are hearing the word uh, and then they have the audacity to quote uh, oh faith come by hearing uh, and hearing that of the word of God uh, but you better start reading the word uh, and go a little deeper because uh, that's not just saying uh, that man ought to receive audible frequencies uh, no we got to listen uh, and when you listen uh, you embrace detail uh, y'all ain't saying nothing here uh, Noah had to embrace the details of God uh, so watch this so he can save himself uh, and his family uh, stop sitting there being selfish uh, and reach out uh, and save your husbands uh, your sons uh, your daughters uh, your nephews uh, come on uh, let's give God a praise for an impartation uh, and tell the devil to loose us uh, and let us go my God, my God uh, I want to say this uh, God's worked in the background uh, oh yes he does uh, he has a way uh, amen to get our attention uh, oh yes he does uh, all through scripture uh, he uses tribulation uh, to get his people attention uh, oh yes he does uh, he uses enemies uh, to bring them uh, on a place of seek uh, oh yes he does uh, he he brings trouble uh, to get them to look beyond uh, their own ideas uh, to see him. Uh, I ain't got time for that. Uh, I need you to listen here uh, because during this pandemic, uh, many uh, oh Lord, uh, I said many uh, have taken the pleasures uh, from man. Uh, oh Lord, uh, we have let the presence of man uh, restrict the church. You want to know how it happened? Because we encourage leadership who were working towards their Babylonian pursuit to get into heavenly realms without the Holy Spirit. We want to reach plateaus of greatness without God. We say he's in the midst, but when God is in it, everything is done in decency and in order. So what was the result? I'm almost done, y'all okay? What was the result? The result is that many believers have gotten spoiled. We don't want to hear direction or correction. We just want revelation, be blessed and highly favored. And the church became weak, spoiled, at ease in Zion. But Jesus told Peter, upon this rock, I'm building the church. But you got to use your keys. Oh, glory of Oshaya, you got to use your keys. God has been working, hallelujah, in the background. And we find for a thousand years, God decided he's going to build him a church. When he began to establish, he got 12 the disciples. What did he do it for? To get membership? No. He wanted to pour into them so they can lay the foundation to continue the work. Ah, that's what we got to do. Lay the foundation to continue to work. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Don't let me say nothing wrong. Spirit of God. Amen. Because we feel comfortable in works. As uh, long as I'm feeding three, four thousand people, we're doing right. Oh, glory to God. As long as I'm putting clothes on the set, all that is good. He says, because when you were in prison, you came to see me. When you was hungry, you fed me. We are supposed to do all these things. But if that supersedes a soul, 
get in a place with God. Oh, glory to God. What a cheap substitute. My God, my God. Uh, oh, God. We got folks that are in bondage. Uh, we got folks, amen, that are perplexing in the spares. Uh, but we've discovered, praise the living God, uh, that God says, uh, I'm working on this church. Uh, I'm going to get 12 disciples to be a role model. Uh, amen. That they ought to continue the work. Uh, and they're not going to do it on their own. Uh, but they're going to do it in the power of the Holy Ghost. And when the day of Pentecost came, the Bible declares that Peter, he embraced that new power. Amen. He used that power to empower the gift that God gave him. And 3,000 souls got saved. And what happened to those souls? We discover that God gave them a mandate. Amen. When he was teaching, he says, when I come, I'm the husband men. Huh? I'm going away huh? but I'm coming again but what I want you to do huh? I want you to occupy till I come huh? saints of God on my way out huh? I want to encourage the church today huh? let's occupy huh? we got to stop having this abandoned building huh? in the spirit huh? saying no vacancy huh? y'all ain't saying nothing huh? we got to escape this abandoned huh? attitude of the spirit huh? that an edifice is in the spirit huh? says for sale huh? we got to occupy huh? we got to labor huh? oh come on here huh? but because huh, a man in the first century church huh, did not watch the parallel I'm going huh? a man because the first century church huh, did not want to huh, occupy huh? they embraced a man huh? oh God the Holy Spirit huh? they embraced the testimonies huh? they embraced the move of God, huh? but they stayed fast. Huh? Uh huh. Look at the parallel here. Huh? They stayed fast. Huh? So, guess what God did? Huh? God brought in uh, amen trouble, huh? and that trouble was persecution. Huh? Oh, glory to God. Huh? We see the same thing now huh? because we didn't occupy. Huh? We are now in trouble. Huh? Oh, my God. Huh? And we discover then. Huh? The enemy doesn't stop there. Huh? And that's how we got in this dilemma. Huh? And I'm praying, oh God, huh? that hearts get a turnaround. Huh? That attitudes change. Huh? And that God get the glory. Huh? I need you to hear me. Because huh? what they end up doing. Because huh? the devil knows the power of leadership. Huh? He knows the power of authority. Huh? And he brought in other leaders. Huh? Amen. To bring in another gospel. Huh? Oh Lord have mercy huh? And then another gospel Got embraced huh? And there was another fall in the way huh? My God my God huh? Saints of the living God huh? Let's go back To our first love huh? Let's give God all the glory huh? Let our souls Let me back in the day huh? Oh with somebody's soul huh? We'll catch on fire huh? Back in the day huh? With no call this might, huh? Amen. No Hammonds, huh? No God, huh? No God. All they had was a devotional leader, huh? But when they called on Jesus, huh? With the wooden floor, huh? And the scrap board, huh? Amen. And the stick with the base, huh? Oh, glory to God, huh? They sang songs of deliverance, huh? And souls got changed, huh? Because it came from a pure heart, huh? It came from a heart, huh? That knew the true and living God huh? so I leave you with this huh? let's get out of complacency huh? let's go back to our first love huh? oh, come on somebody huh? I need you to say Lord have your way huh? have your way because huh? the harvest is plentiful huh? and I'm just as guilty huh? sometimes I go through so much huh? I'm like I don't feel like being bothered huh? but God knows how to work with us huh? he he says, no, the word starts with you. Huh? Stop talking about how you feel huh? and go on and reach every soul huh? that I bring in your path. Huh? Somebody say, help God. Huh? Some folk need some help. Huh? 
Somebody say yes, Lord. Oh, they got a lot of loneliness in the church. They got a lot of pride in the church. And the Bible told us, if any man think himself to be something, when he is not, he deceives himself. We got a lot of folks that's sitting in the seat of I'm all right. But I'm going to leave you with this. The Son of Man is coming. Oh, yes, he is. I'm getting ready to take you with another throwback. The Son of Man is coming. I said, Jesus, he's coming soon. It's time to send out the lifeline. Oh, glory to God. He said, when I come back, am I going to find faith on earth? When I come back, am I find anybody looking for me? My God, my God. When Jesus went up, Rosa, they looked at the place. They looked at the angel. And the angel said, why you keep looking up? I want you to know that you're looking up is also a coming again. He said, don't stand here gazing. Because this same Jesus that you see go up, he's coming back in like manner. My God, my God. I come to tell you, a lot of saints is looking up, but we have no expectation. I'm looking for Jesus. I said, I'm looking for Jesus. And when he come, I got to be without spot or wrinkle. My God, my God. He said, a lot of folks going to say, Lord, Lord. But he going to say, I'm sorry to tell you, because I didn't want nobody to perish. But I really don't know you, because you was a practicer of sin. I really can't say I know you because you were just playing church. I really can't say I know you because you were right in your own eyes. I've been in the church too long. I can't have that news. I got to stay in the new news and the good news is that Jesus he's my savior. Jesus he is my deliverer. So I put myself on the altar. Oh God take it out God. Help me to lay aside every weight. Huh? Put a charge in my mouth. Huh? Yeah, Lord. Huh? Jesus, Jesus. Huh? My God, my God. Huh? I need the Lord now. Huh? He that says in my conclusion, huh? he says in Luke 19, huh? amen, verse 12. Huh? He said the husband men, huh? I mean the noble men, huh? amen, is going to receive him a kingdom. Huh? But I come to say this before I leave. Huh? Oh, Oh, God. Huh? We need God in this hour. Huh? I said we need God huh? in this hour. Huh? I will give you a parallel. Huh? Let me start with one thing. Huh? We live in a whole new world. Huh? I got a computer on my wrist. Huh? I got a computer in my pocket. Huh? I'm looking at a computer now. Huh? My God, my God. Huh? We communicate through computers. Huh? I'm going to leave you with this. Huh? Take that technology huh? and don't let the devil uh, continue to cheat you, uh, being entertained uh, by the word of God. Uh, the Bible declares uh, in Ephesians 4 and 11, uh, he gave gifts unto men uh, for the perfecting of the church, uh, not for entertainment, uh, not going from one to another, uh, not talking about who did good, uh, but take that word uh, and use that gospel uh, to reach another soul. Uh, I said it's the gospel uh, but on the world uh, on the web uh, is more gossip uh, than the gospel uh, oh my god uh, I'm not trying to hurt you uh, I'm not trying to make you feel bad uh, but listen this is important uh, in the time of war uh, I got to learn to fight uh, do I have a witness uh, in the time of an emergency uh, I got to prepare uh, my god my god uh, let us fight the good fight uh, let us lay hold to eternal life. Uh, let's get ready. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, read that Bible. Uh, eat that word. Uh, shut yourself in. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, have your way, God. Uh, have your way. Uh, some of y'all uh, been dealing with man's quarantine. Uh, but you got to have uh, God's quarantine. 
mind uh, and shut in with God. Uh, and so I leave you uh, to let you know, uh, don't be like the world. Uh, the world is looking. Uh, we want comfort. Uh, we got to have our comfort. Uh, uh, we got to get back to our comfort. Uh, listen to this church. Uh, write it down. Uh, don't let your comfort uh, be your crises. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, this world, uh, amen, is going. Uh, I got to get back uh, to my movie. Uh, I got to get back uh, to the beach. Uh, I got to get back uh, to gambling. Uh, I got to get back uh, to partying. Uh, some have never stopped, uh, but some are going crazy because uh, they got to get back uh, to their comfort. Uh, but if you look at the news, uh, the comfort uh, is turning to a crisis. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, Florida uh, is saying we got to shut it down uh, because the comfort uh, has become a crisis. Uh, don't let that devil trick you uh, that your flesh desires uh, supersedes God's purpose uh, and your comfort uh, brings you into a crisis. Uh, oh my God. Uh, come on, don't let the devil lie to you. Uh, these are the last days. Uh, let us wake up and smell the coffee. Uh, the chickens have come to roost. Uh, this pandemic ain't going nowhere. Uh, I don't care what they say. Uh, I come to tell you uh, by the revelation of the Holy Ghost, uh, it's going to be a while. Uh, this year you ain't never uh, going to stop having to wear a mask uh, or social distance. Uh, it's going to take us to next year. Uh, but I believe uh, if the church uh, get down on their knees uh, and if this world uh, listen to us, uh, there'll be a change. Uh, don't you sit down uh, saying it's going to be over after a while. Uh, oh, no, nah, it ain't going to happen. Uh, because when God uh, says it's done, uh, oh, God, just look at David. Lord, I know I committed adultery and had a baby out of lead walk, lead, wedlock. Don't let my baby die. God said, no. If I let your baby live, it would be a negative representation of you being a king. If I let America, with all this wickedness and hate, with all this political corruption, with all this lust of the world, all this lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, if I let y'all escape out of this easy, you would be, it would be harder for Hayabosia, the Holy Spirit, to pull those I'm trying to get into the kingdom. Hey, are y'all listening to me? God is trying to get our attention. Do you hear what I say? Do you hear what I say? I'm going to leave you to this because I'm not coming back to this point. That church, the church was persecuted. But let's look at the global comparisons and I'm done. At the time that the Gospels was written, first century church, the church was not global. Listen, listen, those of you that I can't wait to get it back. God wants to use us how we are so we can get, get taken back. Church was not global through technology. There's no radios spreading the message. There was no TV spreading the message. When you look at families, everyone was isolated. Hallelujah. But they had something. Praise God. They was worshiping in houses. Social distance, if you will. First century church. But they had something. What did they have? They had a transcendent message called the gospel. Transcendent message did not fall into cultural limitation. But with the message that they released, wherever they went, like the apostle said, I don't want to know nothing about y'all except for Jesus Christ and him crucified. Yeah, he got condemned because he didn't fall into the mold. He didn't follow the trend. He didn't go into the world view. He didn't care about his contextual expectations that was demanded of him as a speaker. But he understood that while he was waiting, 
for that promise, he had to work. He had to work while he was there. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. God is saying to you as you still wait, his weight is giving strength in you. But watch what you do with your strength. You put your strength into the wrong place. God says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. I believe that he's trying to renew the strength of the church. That we can mount up with wings of eagles. So we can run and be not weary. That word, wait, means to bind together. God is saying, I want to bind myself to you. Hey, shalalabosia. I want to bind myself to you. Hey, shalalabosia. Oh, God, I pray that you have your way. You said your promise, be Lord, that your word won't return to the void. You said it won't return to your void, God, but it's going to accomplish your purpose. And let your purpose of me sharing that you put on my heart, God, accomplish your divine purpose. Oh, God, let that soul turn around. I, oh, that I'm all see. Let that heart turn around, God. Let that house turn around, God. Oh, God, hallelujah. Let that woman turn around. Let that man turn around, God. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Help us to listen in our spirit, God. Let the word get hidden in our heart that we won't sin against you. Let that word get in us so deep, get down in our belly. Hey, God, that we can bring forth fruit, Lord, and that the fruit that we believe come out of our life shall remain. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, God, I pray for that soul. That soul that the enemy is playing with their mind and their spirit. That soul of the spirit of religion. The religious spirit has got them bound. Oh, God, with a false idea of safety. But, oh, God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit reach out his hand. Lord, you said you're not willing that any should perish. But, oh, God, help us, Lord. Help us, God, save that soul in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we know that you're a God of deliverance. Hallelujah, you're a God of power. Oh, Father God, I pray for a miracle, God, that those that are open right now and need a supreme supernatural intervention right now in the name of Jesus. We declare a miracle in the life of those who accept the truth of the gospel. Oh, God, that they receive a supernatural intervention in their lives in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for a turnaround. We thank you, hallelujah, for a miracle. We give you praise and glory. In the name of Jesus, hey, oh God, look on. They, they had a statistics as they begin to scan all the marches and so many millennials have been out there. Oh God, so many things has been going on, Lord. So many of them need you. They need you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for using them to bring forth, amen, a, 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 a calmness in our culture and bring forth solution, God, and bring forth some answers. But, oh, God, we pray don't let their souls, amen, be lost, Lord. Oh, God, because we're looking, oh, God, that their souls will be saved, oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. And, oh, God, and finally I pray for the men and women of God. Oh, God, that was so conscious of wanting to be successful. And any pastor in their right mind wants to be successful, but not at the cost uh, of erring the faith, but not at the cost of disappointing God, but not at the cost of losing souls. Oh, God. God, oh God, if Benny Hinn uh, can confess that he learned by his mistake and if others can say, oh God, I was going the wrong way. Uh, you did it like the Apostle Paul. Uh, he had to go into darkness uh, for him to see the light. Uh, but when he saw the light, uh, he became power to the church. Uh, oh God, look on the leader now. Uh, oh God, that's been tricked by darkness. Uh, oh God, that you anoint their eyes uh, like an anonymous 
morning is praying for yourself. The apostle Paul, uh, take the scales off. Uh, oh God, give them divine revelation uh, of what you're about to do in this last hour. Uh, raise up your gifts to the church uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, look on our apostle. Uh, use him like you never used him before. Uh, oh God, give him wisdom. Uh, oh God, anoint him afresh. Uh, even me, God, uh, help us to know what you're doing. Uh, the more in this last hour, uh, oh God, we need you. Uh, and we know you never left us. Uh, you will never forsake us. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, look on every minister and deacon. Uh, look on every evangelist and prophet and prophetess. Uh, oh God, look on prophetess Floyd. Uh, keep her in the prayer room. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, we need seers. Uh, we need seers in this last day. Uh, we need seers in this last day. Uh, oh God, have your way. Yeah, yeah, God, do it for your glory. Do it for your glory. And last nothing but not least, Lord, you say we're in the world, not of the world, and I pray for the church that we don't succumb to the pressure of COVID-19 and this pandemic, that you teach us how to walk above it, not to walk in fear and succumb to it in restriction, but teach us how to walk in the wisdom of God. As many pastors go back to the sanctuary, we pray, oh, Father God, that you would use this time to do supernatural things. Teach us. Bring us into a level. To bind the enemy, to get us to say, oh, that's what we used to do. This is what we used to do. That's not how we used to do it. Help us to follow you. Be that anointing, that cloud by day and that fire by night. Oh, God, help us to follow you. Help us to hear the voice behind us saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Help us like the priest stay within the measure behind your ark. Oh, God. And when you say to the left, we go left. Don't let us succumb to this judgment that's on this earth. But help us succumb to succumb to the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. The face of God smile upon you. Bishop Thompson loves you. Amen. I love you with all my heart. I pray that your souls be saved, that your eyes is open, that your spirit is encouraged. We truly, truly, truly thank God for every one of you. Amen. Take your time out to come. And I got to leave because some of y'all got another service to go to online. So right now, listen to our announcements. We want to thank you for tuning in to our In His Image Facebook live stream. We thank God for the message from our bishop, work while you wait. You can join us every Sunday morning at 11 and every Friday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. right here on Facebook Live. On behalf of our Bishop Dennis Thompson, our elect Lady Cheryl Thompson, and the entire In His Image Evangelical Ministry, we appreciate you. We absolutely appreciate your financial support. There are various ways that you can continue to financially support this ministry. You can download the Givelify app, search for In His Image Ministries, enter your payment information, tap the pay button, search or type for dollar sign In His Image Seed, dollar sign In His Image Seed. You can also securely pay your tithes and give donations by visiting our website at www.inhisimagemin.net www.inhisimagemen.net. We have both Square Link and PayPal. Tap the donation button, enter your donor's information, tap the button to process, you're all done. If you prefer to pay or mail in your donations or testimony report, you can mail it to P.O. Box 1703, Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302. Members, Please remember your yearly pastor's aid pledge. It's been some kind of year, but you can still, amen, make arrangements to pay on your anniversary pledge. You can give those nations to Sherry Patterson, or you can also give those donations via our other payment methods. Just make sure you know that it is for pastor's anniversary. Noonday prayer is being held every Monday afternoon 
hosted by our elder Josephine Boleg. For prayer requests, please inbox or messenger Josephine Holland Boleg on Facebook. Please like, share, and subscribe so that you and others will have the opportunity to be notified when we go live here at In His Image. In His Image Youth and Young Adult Ministry Lit, Living in the Truth, will be hosting their next live stream on July 12th at 6 p.m. That will be hosted by our Shatira Boleg. We here at In His Image believe in doing things in excellence. Because we are concerned about your spiritual and natural well-being, we have been preparing the sanctuary through a series of deep cleaning. Please stay tuned. We will be announcing the return to service date real soon. Please take a minute to review us. You can rate our streaming 1 to 10, with 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest, and leave comments on how we can improve. Again, please join us this Wednesday at 6 p.m. God bless you all.